everyone. It's Athena. Happy Halloween. It is the 31st of October for all, for the collective. All right. So let's talk about energy. Halloween, right? Let's pay attention to how our energy fluctuates, okay, for today. It's Halloween. So the energy will fluctuate, right? Your energy fluctuates anyway, not because it's Halloween. It always fluctuates. And to know and to pay attention to it is really cool because if your energy increases, that's giving you a hint that you're, you're driven, you're motivated, you're going, right? It gives you enlightenment and just a knowingness and understanding and you're real clear about things. When you grab this energy, it's really positive. You know it's positive because your heart expands, right? Then when your energy is decreases and dim is diminished by those around you, let's say, or whatever, what have you, then know that when it, when your heart um, is, you know, uh, when your heart gets feeling like stressed or you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, you know, it compresses, right? If your heart compresses and goes within, you go within because you're not sure. It's a, a decrease of your energy. You withdraw somehow. You're not sure. You're doubtful. You're fearful. That energy <clears throat> is a hint who you should maybe stray from or not be around as much. Okay, so... All about paying attention to how your energy either increases or decreases, okay? And how you feel around certain people. Start realizing. Start being observant of your energy. When your energy increases, we embrace that, right? Then we allow. If your energy decreases, that's when it's time to say, hold on a second. I got to pull back here because... I'm not feeling right about something, okay? Okay, all right. So, the 31st, collectively, for all, for those of you who celebrate Halloween, some don't, right? It is, um, it is not celebrated everywhere, so. Let's see what the collective message is for today. All right. <laughs> see? Avoiding a tower moment, right? Avoiding the destruction of something in your world. Let's see what we're avoiding or we're trying not for it not to go. Okay. So the judgment reverse with the tower reverse is avoiding going backward. Do not go back. You can't go back, right? You just got to go forward. So pay attention to this. This is important. When your energy is, you know, in reverse mode like this is, it's time the angels are saying, don't go back to what you think you would want. Don't go back. No more waiting around for anything or anyone. Okay, all reversals here. So these are the angels. This is upright, right? The angels are saying no more second chances, no more going back to something that you know will ultimately end up making you wait, making you compromise, making you settle. Don't settle. No one is to settle, okay? There's no settling here, okay? You can't go back because you'll settle. If you go forward and stay in the present moment, the universe gifts you with many gifts, right? Planetary aspects all around you, the world's at your fingertips, and you're happy and you're strong. You're empowered now. Why? Because you're not going back. You're empowered to move forward and stay centered. 
within your own self, right? Right. Stay in the light, always in the light, right? Going from the dark to the light also. Going from a time of not knowing to knowing right here, right? From fear to light. Shedding the old for the new. It's all polarity. It's polarity. There's no judgments here. The judgment is not anymore going back to things that just aren't. You're not waiting anymore for anything. It's time. You can't, you can't wait for things to change. You have to be your own change. Okay, bottom of the deck. The emperor is reversed. So this could be a father figure. This could be a husband, a, a someone who's got authority, usually upright, right? So what does this mean? This is the Aries card. So don't fall. Don't, you're a father figure or someone very predominant in your world is saying, don't fall for just any love. Get the love that you deserve, rightfully deserve, right here. This is self-love. Do you love yourself enough to not judge yourself and not want things to remain the way that they've always been? You got to change. Only you can do it. You've been waiting for a long time for change. So now, in order to make yourself happy, self, worth, self-value, make yourself happy, right? If someone is in your world who is trying to just say, you know, trying to take your energy, this could be, you know, someone who doesn't have your best interest at heart, right? I'm not saying it's a father figure if that's the case, obviously, okay? And some, for some, it, it could be right? Not ev everyone's human. So take it as whoever is in authority in your life, you need to make sure that you have the love for yourself. Maybe this emperor doesn't love themselves, okay? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, right here, speaking their truth about what? Well, we love ourselves. We want we want this love because we are this love. We are clear about the love that we're looking for. No matter who doesn't, like, isn't on board with it, right? We want the great love. We want, it's all or nothing. That's what I just heard. It's all or nothing, okay? Oh my God, hello. This is beautiful. It's all or nothing. That's it. When you love yourself, this is what you get. Because it's all or nothing. You're not waiting around for pipe dreams. These are pipe dreams. These are pipe dreams, hoping that these pentacles are going to fall to the, to the ground and, you know, save someone. No, you have to save yourself, right? Save yourself, be happy. And the queen of swords knows exactly how to do it. Because truth is the only thing that this queen, her energy, this feminine energy could be a masculine with feminine air in your chart. Yes. This energy is about, I know my worth and I know what I deserve. And that's what I'm going to get. No matter what. No matter what. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Not yet, but I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for the 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 happy, the the one, the happy, uh, the true love, the soul counterpart, the soul counterpart right here, right? I'm going for the peace that resides within me, right? Because I love myself that much. And those who don't, then they don't. They lose out, right? The people who don't value and see your worth must go, clearly. 
Okay. Just a quick shout out for Halloween. Be careful what candy you receive. Be careful, check everything. And always be careful going out to parties and what have you, okay? For some reason I had to say it. I don't know why, but I did. I felt it, so just, you know. It's always good to be, feel the protection and not worry about anything, especially when you have kids, you know? Okay, these just came out. Let's see what they are. Wow, there's a lot here, but I'm feeling like I need to take them, so I'm going to. I'm being told to take them. We are moving on. A lot of us are moving on to, this is, this is, this is, here's this, this man standing by the window saying, she loves me, she loves me not, right? Well, come on, right? It's time to move on. There's hardly any more petals on that rose. It's exhausted its time, right? It's expired. Same thing with this. This is ex expiration, you know? It's expired. It's time to now remove yourself from that Look at yourself in the mirror and take note of what you love about yourself. This is the dark night of the soul coming out into like the light of a new day, right? And loving yourself, right? That's all it is. It's coming out of a time period where you had to meditate, you had to grow, you had to learn, you are now matured. You've matured to the point where now you know what you will and will not settle for. Maturity comes what? Wisdom. The wisdom makes one mature. The base chakra is building a new foundation, right? Stability and security. So that's what we're working on. That's what you're working on. If this, if this is a reading for you, this is what you're working on. You're working on coming out of a time where you were always questioning whether your value, whether you value yourself, right? And above all, making sure that you stay within your own strength, power, understanding, clarity. This is huge clarity and expansion. Personal power, huge personal power. Look at Look at the depiction of the card. Happiness, huge energy, really good times and abundant cheer. Cheers. You've made it through a time where you did, I think at some point, many of you didn't think you were going to get out of this mode, you know, but finally moving on and taking that taking time out for yourself to understand that it's time to use the wisdom that you have upon you to build and rebuild a new you, right? And not be fearful any longer of anything. Nothing is there to fear except fear itself, right? There is nothing to fear. And now you're rebuilding your foundation, you're rebuilding it. So hallelujah to that. Cheers to those who are rebuilding their foundation because that's what this is. No more fear, no more any of that. Just happiness, joy, creativity, great positive energy right here. Self-will and personal power. This is all self-esteem. Your self-esteem is skyrocketing because you've made really good decisions and choices about what you will and won't accept. And that's when destiny knocks on our door. That's what happens. The cycle of one's shadow light revolving in a circular, always circular, right? It What goes around comes around. Everything is circular. Everything comes around at a point where you become whole. 
right? The merging of the self. I've spoken about it a lot because a lot of people are now finding enlightenment. They're finding their own light and going their own way, right? And being happy about it. This is a huge celebra celebratory card. This is congratulations, you've done the hard work. And this is what you get. Wow. This is what you get. You decided that you were going to love yourself, self, right? In your truth, walking in your truth, and here you go. Hello. That's beautiful. This is the soul counterpart that you've been waiting for, hoping for, but it had to come with self-love first. It can only be, I love myself to the point where that's comes first and then destiny comes right right behind it right it's all it's all destiny it's all i'm hearing trade-off right what's the trade-off are you not going to love yourself are you going to look at yourself and not move on many people do many people say well you know I'm so used to the old right but this reading is not for those people. This reading is for all of you out there who have taken time to really assess what you want and love yourself to the point where now you see the light, you've gained great wisdom, and now you're rejoicing because your destiny is right now here. You're happy because the destiny that you're receiving, the gifts that you've been granted from the universe. Oh my God, look, hold on. Is this, see? So a new chapter, let's just go one more. Let's go, let's go for it. Look, a new chapter is being written. Same card here. The wisdom that you've learned, the wisdom that you've achieved, the attainment that you've achieved, the enlightenment that you've achieved. The enlightenment, reigniting your passion, let's go, has been a struggle, but you've done it. You're out of the woods. You're out of the woods. You've got great passion. You're closing a chapter. Many are closing the chapter of self to achieve the great love. And now the universe is saying, good job. Great job. Hello. And now we're gifting you right here. We're gifting you with this beautiful soul counterpart. And we want you to know this is your destiny. This is what you've been waiting for. Congratulations. And now my dogs... Doggies are definitely barking for that, for that celebration. Okay, very good. Love this reading, this Halloween reading. So your energy now went from, right, went from decreasing to major increase of energy. Wow, we're definitely embracing the new Definitely embracing ourselves and saying congratulations because this was not an easy, this was not an easy uh, journey. It's not easy. Here we go. All right. Mahavatar Babaji. It's Babaji. Now in Greek, Baba is father and G is God, is for God. So it's Baba G, which is Father God, soul expansion. This is what's happening here, right now. Your consciousness is expanding and you understand the connection between all things, right? How beautiful is that? And of course, it depicts the same card as the universe has your back, masculine, feminine, have a great Halloween. Be safe. I'll talk to you later.